In this video helps us to learn about exclusive or and equivalence functions. Equivalence fun functions are also called as exclusive nor which is sometimes complement for exclusive or operations. So here exclusive or we represent like this x, x or y. In terms of and or not gates it is x bar y plus x y bar. Exclusive nor operation we normally represent it as uh, x x or y whole complement when it is only two variables and it can be like in terms of and or not gates it is x y plus x bar y bar. The following identities are applied for exclusive or operation. If you see x x or 0 if we are doing it is uh, x. How this is is nothing but in this expression if we are substituting y equal to 0 x and y0 means y complement it will become 1. So x dot 1 plus x bar dot 0. So x bar dot 0 becomes 0 and we will remain with x. So x x or 0 equal to x. Similarly x x or 1 equal to x bar and x x or x equal to 0. x x or x complement equal to 1. x x or y complement equal to x complement x or y which is also said as x x or y whole complement. Exclusive or operation is both commutative and associative. Commutative means the variables can be interchanged. The position of variables can be interchanged. A x or B is equal to B x or A and associative is A x or B. First we will perform this and then on the result of this we will perform x or with C is equal to a x or b x or c. We perform b x or c first and then x or with a. Uh, that is equal to so because we are removing like now the brackets as a uh, obey associative law we can just simply write it as a x or b x or c. Exclusive or operation is defined as an odd function. Odd function is nothing but if we are having odd number of variables to be 1 that is like number of odd inputs is equal to 1 then exclusive or is equal to 1. If you see here this k map this 0 0 0 1 number of 1's here is 1 only d is 1 here so we have 1 here and if you see here 0 0 1 1 so two ones are there it is even number so we are, we are not having uh, 1 here and again like 0 0 1 0 if you see only odd number of 1's is there so 1 and here 0 1 0 0 odd number of 1's 1 0 1 1 1 so 1 so here by this we can say that exclusive or operation is defined as odd function. When we consider XOR expression as n variable 1 that is n variables are x odd then it is equal to the boolean function with 2 power n by 2 mean terms whose equivalent binary numbers have an odd number of 1s. When x nor operation is performed on n variables when 2 power n by 2 mean terms whose equivalent binary numbers have e even number of zeros that is x nor operation. Uh, there is a chance like when n number of variables is odd that is where n is odd the min terms with an even number of zeros are same as the min terms with odd number of ones. So in such a case these both will become equal that is XOR and XNOR operations will become equal. When the number of variables in a function is even then these two will be different and we can say complement. So in such a case XR and XNOR becomes complement to each other which we will see now. Therefore XR is equal to XNOR when both have the same odd number of variables. They form the complements of each other when the number of variables is even. So if you see here some inequalities with respect to XR and XNOR A XR B XR C whole complement E equal to a x or b nor x nor c. So this complement will be applicable only for one of the terms. So here a x nor b x nor c whole complement is equal to 
ax nor bx or c and the similar way we can see other uh, inequalities also and here in the third inequality you can see that both xr and x nor operations are equal because the number of variables a b c is 3 which is odd number and you can see here uh, the similar fashion when we consider four variables a x or b x or c x or d we can observe that it is complement of a x nor b x nor c x nor d so the other inequalities also is specified similarly we can get more number of inequalities also which we can prove them using truth table or boolean expressions and then comes the parity generator which actually depends upon the XOR operations and XNOR operations. This is the parity generator and even parity it will be generating XYZ as a 3 bit message and uh, because here zeros all zeros uh, and if we add 1 here it will become odd number of 1s. So odd parity generator it will become that is the reason like why we are adding 0 and then 0, 0, 001 single one is there so when we add one two ones it will become and here 010 zero, zero. so when we add one again two ones so we are going to add the parity bit such that including the parity bit we have to get even number of ones that is num uh, out of x y z and p we have to get even number of ones now once we get the truth table and parity bit is generated get the expression for p using the truth table or using the k map or boolean expressions and here p is generated as x x or y x or z and the circuit diagram is shown here so here if you see the parity generator is generated on the sender side actually and if you see here on the receiver side the receiver should check whether the received message is correct or not so again it has to check the parity whether it is correct or not. So in, it is similarly like the receiver also generates the parity as similar to the transmitter and gets the parity checker expression in this fashion. And now if you see like uh, C will tell whether uh, the receiver received the, the message correctly or not. So if you see triple zero parity is zero include is, it is saying zero. So it is correct. If you see for uh, three zeros parity is one and a checker it is generating one which indicates false that is the message it received is false actually because triple zero means it should, when we are maintaining even parity parity should be zero. So when the parity bit also is received as zero then only we can say that the receiver received the data correctly including the parity bit otherwise wrongly. So when C equal to 0 the receiver received the data correctly otherwise it received the data with an error. It might be either in parity bit or it might be in X or Y or Z. This is the parity checker which will be done on the receiver side.